Okay, let's go. Hi, I'm Sophie DeFreitas. This is Mark Curley, Jacob Mudell, and Milo DeBacker, and we are the Number Crunchers. Our business concept is called Fast Snacks and will be placed in the Sierra Trading Post locations. So our idea is to sell energy feeling snacks to Sierra Trading Post consumers who enjoy camping, hiking, and other outdoor activities. This summer, my cross country team, we did a training camp in New Hampshire, and one of the days we hiked the White Mountains. About halfway through the hike, we all got really tired, and it would have been great to have a fast snack, such as a bar or jerky or something like that, to fuel us for the rest of our hike. So our HR team is comprised of Mo as the COO, Mark as the CMO, and Jacob as the CFO, and myself as the CEO. Currently, we are not employing any other employees. It will just be the four of us running the company. So now Mark is going to talk about the product description. All right, so we're focused on selling healthy but easily accessible snacks to eat on the go without preparation. Um, so specifically beef jerky, energy bars, and dried fruit. Our target market focuses mainly on current Sierra Trading Post <coughs> customers, but also anyone who enjoys outdoor recreation. So our kiosk, which will be located next to the checkout, uh, uh, will, so that when customers buy their uh, apparel and their gear for, from Sierra Trading Post, they can come to the registers and they'll see our checkout, and so we should strategically place it there. And uh, so up on, the, up on the screen are some of the brands that we'll be providing to our customers. Um, and so now Mahu will talk about the value proposition. Concerning our value proposition, um, uh, for Sierra Company, uh, there will be a stronger presence in the food and snack market, will allow, which will allow a better, better competition with, on the market. And for the customers, they will have access to a better diversified selection of snacks for their outdoor activities. Then for the competition, our competitors are REI, uh, Backcountry, Eastern Mountain Sports, Bass Pro Shop, Cabillas, and Coleman. And they are seen as a competitive threat because they have more um, stores and a larger customer base. On the other hand, like they don't sell jerkies, uh, not energy bars, and healthy snacks, so we have a, so we can be better than them on the market. Now, uh, Sophie will talk about the consumer needs. So our survey consisted of 11 questions ranging from how old someone was to how much they're willing to pay for one of our items. So one of our questions was, when shopping for these snacks, what is most important to you? And the two highest percentages were how healthy and how tasty the food were. So from the buyers we'll be buying from, such as RX Bar and Jack's Links, they ensure that health and taste are two of the priorities within their products which means we'll be meeting this consumer need. Additionally, another question we asked is what type of food people bring on their outdoor activities. And healthy snacks, such as fruit bars, and fruit and bars, and protein pill snacks, such as jerky and bars, um, were the two highest results for that as well, which means that by selling bars and jerky and dried fruit, we'll be meeting the needs of consumers. So now, Mark is going to talk about our target. So we use an inverted pyramid model to, or an inverted pyramid to represent our target market. So at the top layer, we have the population of every town that's within a 20 minute radius of our Newton, Massachusetts, uh, Sierra Trading Post location. We then broke this number down by 49%. This is because this is a number, or this is a percentage of Americans who have participated in outdoor recreation in the past year. We then went on to look at our survey and we determined that our uh, target market age range is ages 15 to 38, which mainly includes Generation Z and Millennials. And then finally, we determined that our final customer number would be 31,000, and this is based on the likelihood that our uh, customers will buy our products based on our survey. So for operations and supply chain, uh, we'll be buying our products from Alibaba online and as you can see on the board, we have our unit prices. So on average, we're, on average, we'll be buying our jerky at just over six dollars per unit, and then our dry fruit at just below two fifty, and then our uh, energy bars at just about two dollars per unit. Um, so, yeah. uh, so now Jacob will talk about the benefits to TJX. So Sierra Trading Post will be able to benefit from us because they can profit from fast snacks being in their stores. Our lease will be 1400 a month, 
with an additional 5% of our total revenue each year. Additionally, we will help to keep the customers in the store for a longer period of time because we will locate our kiosk near the checkout area so while customers are about to leave the store, they'll be sidetracked by our large kiosk that will be in their way when they leave. Additionally, we are not directly competing with any of the types of food that Sierra Trading Post is selling. Instead, we are helping them step into the healthy snacks market, an industry they are not yet selling any products in, which is an industry that Bloomberg is estimating to be worth $32.88 billion by 2025. When we look at this industry data, we can see that each of these individual types of snacks that we will be selling is not only a pretty large industry itself, but it's also continually growing into the oncoming years. We can see that the dried fruit revenue of 2018 is already at $4 billion with a growth of 7.8%, 1.8% going into hopefully by 2024. Uh, estimated industry size for beef jerky is about $1.4 billion for 2019, and estimated industry size for energy bars is $5.5 .5 billion. <coughs> now to take a look at our financials. At the end of year one, we are finishing with a net loss of $38,015. At the end of year two, we are able to turn a profit of $15,062. And year three, we are able to make a profit of $167,386. When taking a look at our revenues, uh, our jerky price will be at $10, giving us a profit margin of 39%. Uh, dried fruit will be sold at $6 per unit, giving us a profit margin of 71.75% and our energy bars will be sold at $4, giving us a profit margin of 39%. The reason that we are assuming that energy bars and dried fruit will be selling at a larger quantity is because since we are hoping that people are impulse buying near the checkout, we know that these people are more likely to buy larger quantities of the cheaper units that we are selling. Our startup expenses at the beginning is going to be $48,950. Other expenses that we will have include salaries, rent to, to, um, to see our trading post, the lease for our office and storage space, the cost of goods sold, and our other expenses, which include advertising, insurance, and the 5% sales revenue that we are giving to them. For capitalization, to cover our starting costs, we will be taking out a 50% 50, 50 of it will be covered by a bank loan which is equivalent to $24,475. 25% of this will be covered by ourselves, and another 25% will be covered by our friends and family. At the end of the first year, we will have a net loss, which we will need to cover by taking out an additional loan. But after year two, we are able to begin to pay back that bank loan, $15,000 less. And then at the end of year three, with $167,386, we are able to pay off all of our different loans to ourselves, friends and family, and our bank, leaving us with net cash flow at the end of year three of $95,483. I will now turn it to Nadu Bakker to summarize. To conclude, uh, Fast Snacks will be selling fruit and energy, accessible and healthy snacks on the go, which is very useful for people who are practicing uh, outdoor activities. Furthermore, um, Sierra Trading Post, our product will allow Sierra Trading Post to have a stronger presence on the food and snacks industry to better compete with other brands. And finally, our customers, this is a fabulous idea because our customers will have a better, um, will have a diversified and complete selection of healthy snacks. Um, and it is a really uh, fat process. Okay, questions for the team. Um, if you can stop recording. Uh, in the financial slide, the cost of yeah. goods.